coach Peggy Liddick. There is a score, 9.25. Now Australia will go into the last rotation in the lead. Australia will lead by about half a point as we go into the final rotation in the women's team event. Up for grabs at the completion of this rotation here in the women's team event and Australia is in the lead with 83.159. They are just over half a point ahead of England as we uh, look at the final scenes here. I should tell you Canada has finished. They are in the clubhouse with 108.884. Technically they lead of course but it's Australia and England with their rotation to go. And I would have to say that Australia do have the advantage. If you had to choose to finish on beam or floor, you'd always choose floor. Beam is a very difficult apparatus to finish on. However, this England team has shown us in the past that they're not going to give up easily. But for them to average the same score on floor as Australia will be difficult. Beam is traditionally harder to score on than floor. Notwithstanding that, Australia's done an extremely good job. And so is Kelly Hackman to date. It's a very interesting little connection there. Changement jump to a free roll. Nice to see some variety in the composition. Double twist, so clean. She sets the team up. That's a good effort from Hackman for England. 9.362. Well, that's no shabby score at all. Oh. That's very good. Australia leading by the almost the barest of margins. Trudy McIntosh, come on, Trudy. Music's all over the place. Oh, sky high, full in, back out. Whip double pike, yeah. beautiful landing. Very clean, two straddle jump full turns in a row. Actually, they're called popers, and the coach for Ireland is the poper that it's named after. Very nice, oh, one lovely. and a half twist. Beautiful. An important time, of course, this last tumbling line. Take a deep My breath. hands are sweaty, I can tell <laughs> you that. Here it comes. Come on, Trudy. Looks okay, yes. Yeah. Trudy McIntosh from Melbourne, Victoria. Strutting her stuff and doing a great job. I think more she can do, it's out of her hands now. She's such a good tumbler and she gets enormous height. Nice positions there. Almost muffed that one. Her feet were just a bit behind her coming out of the twist. However, not really any deductions associated with that. Talk about her holding her breath. What about us? <laughs> Nine three three seven for Trudy McIntosh. So just like last night, England and Australia battling it out down to the wire, except the roles are reversed. It's Australia in the lead. Now you would have to say that this is Slater's strongest apparatus. Let's hope that she can put it together when it really counts. Alana Slater from Perth. Very difficult combination on her first line. This will be so important. Whip, two and a half, punch front, makes it around. Ballet Rus. Triple twist, a little bit off the side. She's still on her feet, that's important.
beautiful interpretation of the music. Third line coming up. Does it nicely, double twist forwards. Come on Alana, has a double pike to finish the routine, so important. Yes, she makes it. Yeah. Nice stuff. Alana Slater, she'll be happy. And what a beautiful little floor worker she is. Such expression. National coach Peggy Liddick giving her a hug. Great relief. Teammate Trudy. Let's have a look at this whip. Immediate two and a half twist punch front. A bit off direction, slightly low on the landing, but that's worth a lot of bonus points. Point five in, in fact. This will be the last opportunity now for England, Lisa Mason. Australia will have Zena McLaughlin going last on the floor. England's last ditch attempt for the gold medal. So far so good. Now, it'll be interesting to see if she uses. She normally has a full twist in here. I wonder if she's going to cut back on it because it's such a risky element. She doesn't cut back and very well done. All credit to her for putting in maximum difficulty at such a crucial time. And it could be when Mason finishes this routine and we get the score for her, Australia could already have won the competition going into this last rotation. We still await Slater's score. But things are looking good. Double tuck, she does it well, under pressure. So once we've got Slater's score, we'll know the difference before Mason went ahead and we'll know if England could catch us or not. Because McLaughlin now... Here it comes. It's a 9 three, three, six, two. Two, And we are a full point ahead of England. Before Mason went up, it is impossible for England to beat us. Impossible. We have won the gold medal. Oh, what a great <laughs> moment this is. <laughs> I wonder if Zena knows. I just say my mathematics are right, because oh. if they're not, I'll be... <laughs> I'll have a red face, I'll tell you what. I think I can almost sit back and enjoy this routine. I'm almost certain Australia has won the gold medal. These scores are so difficult to calculate. Come on, Zena. Let's finish on a high note. Whip, double pike, good girl. Oh, beautiful. Very nice leap connections. Front layout, front full, 